Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike. I'm studying data science at U Chicago. I'm using my channel to keep track and share experience, thoughts, and reflection in my life. Today, I'm going to talk about my first year experience with U Chicago MSCA program. So, MSCA stands for Master of Science in Analytics. This is a program was originally founded under U Chicago School of Professional Study. And now it is under School of Physics Department. I started my grad school application prep in 2018. I completed my application at the end of 2019, and I was able to get admitted by U Chicago MSCA program in May of 2020. U Chicago was the only top 50, um, maybe even top 10 university applied among all the grad school. So of course I chose U Chicago as my final destination to complete my master degree. I will have a separate video on my application process, more reasons to go with MSCA program, and details on how I get into UChicago. When I started MSCA program with UChicago, it was during COVID-19. I was taking online courses since I started. It was kind of like okay experience so far in the academic part. Since I had been working remote with my job in the past three years, I was so adapted to the mode of working studying remote. I started as a part-time student because I have to work and pay for my own tuition bills and the living cost. So even though I'm not as productive doing everything online, at least I can focus on one to two classes per quarter, so I would not get distracted by many different things from school. And yes, UChicago has a quarterly schooling system, which can be very short and intense compared to a regular semester system. So one of the best things that happened to me so far after I started MSA program was that I was able to get into an applied data science fellowship program, which is a one-year working program under UChicago Harris School of Public Policy. This program is to arrange UChicago graduate students who has a skill in data analytics and interest um, in nonprofit or public policy into different nonprofit organizations to help drive insight, automation, AI, and predictions for the sector. Students are required to work around 35 to 40 hours per week of working at your organization for a whole year. So this can be seen as like a one year uh, internship program. I was very lucky to be the few people who are admitted into this program without graduating from my degree. I will make a separate video to talk about my experience at this fellowship program, how I got into this program, and what did I get out of it, and how much I got paid through this program. So to be short, this fellowship program allowed me to study part-time at MSCA uh, while working at a relevant full-time position in the data science field. The biggest benefit is to apply what I learned from school directly into the relevant work and using analytic to make impact to solve actual business problems. And this fellowship also helped me to pay for my school and my living costs staying at Chicago. And I was able to score two data science internship offer through UChicago Career Services. And I just completed my summer internship at Nike as a graduate analytic intern. Um, it was an awesome experience, uh, which will be covered by a separate video to review my 2021 summer internship at Nike. So due to my previous working experience in the industry before I started my graduate school, I was able to waive three non-credited and the required bootcamp courses. Statistic bootcamp, um, Python programming, and the Python for analytics. So far I've taken linear algebra bootcamp, statistical analysis, linear nonlinear modeling, data science consulting, data mining, Bayesian method, they're all super useful courses to take. Three most useful fundamental courses are linear algebra bootcamps, statistical analysis, and linear nonlinear modeling courses, which pave the mathematical and the modeling algorithm fundamentals for my transition into data science. For example, within my fellowship or internship, I implemented some of those statistical analysis to validate, um, reassume the distribution on data implement ANOVA analysis to compare variance between samples, create sample forecasting models with linear regression techniques and compare their R-square stats, or understanding in-depth statistical inference about logistic regression and so on. 
They're not easy classes for me, but the work is definitely doable as long as I maintain consistent study habit and do all the preview works, review texts, um, taking a lot of notes and working well in the team assignment. Data science consulting courses gave me tons of practice on how to take on uh, business problems and implement data science techniques in agile methodologies to produce solutions and make impact, which gave me this professional direction and project management skills throughout my fellowship and my summer internship. Data mining is the most useful and the most applicable courses I've ever taken so far. Since data mining techniques are so useful for data scientists to model and understand data in different situations, like not every data set is labeled or ready for prediction phase, I was able to implement and supervise learning techniques, network analysis, association root learnings in my 2021 summer internship with Nike. Those data mining techniques helped me to drive progress on projects such as product insights analysis, understanding clusters of data sets um, when engineering consumer segmentation algorithms, and create cool visualization to present insights and so on. Bayesian is the most challenging courses I've taken so far, um, since it required tons of reading and understanding on the algorithm and the techniques. It does give me that very refreshing prospect on how we can use statistics to evaluate the information. During this course, um, I was taking data mining and working at a fellowship. I literally dedicated 70% of my free time to this course outside of my work by reading textbook, um, taking notes, reviewing lectures, doing homework and previous knowledges before classes, and then troubleshoot on a lot of analytic code. Even though I know Bayesian is used extensively in a lot of machine learning algorithm, I'm not able to apply it to my um, actual project or working texts yet. However, I'm still super glad I took this course. It gave me tons of practice to read a lot of material, papers, and textbooks to understand these complicated but very dynamic techniques within mathematics and analytics. So it can help me to further get me ready to later educations in more advanced topics. In terms of my overall MSCA programming experience, um, from a career perspective, I feel like that I benefit a lot from the MSCA or UChicago career program. The advisors regularly push and recommend new job opportunities on LinkedIn and through school emails. However, due to the COVID-19, the companies that attended the program's uh, career fair or school system job opportunities were just not as fulfilling as it could be, which is sort of understandable under this circumstances. In terms of networking opportunity within the program or with the UChicago, there are many activities for students to participate, such as um, grad school council committees, um, their consulting business case competition from business school, their data science consulting club within MSCA. The data science consulting club was usually very uh, active um, to invite guests, speakers to talk about consulting analytic experience and techniques and share job seeking experience. Even though everybody took their classes online, most of the classes were designed for students to work together for assignments, project and uh, presentation and so on. Um, so there were lots of opportunity to connect with your peer and networks. So overall, after a whole year of going through COVID-19, I feel this deep burnout by working and study at the same time but I also feel that balance between input and output from all my hustles. But at least I was able to justify the expensive tuition to my first year at MSCA program with my professional and personal growth. So after a one month break before the fall quarter, I am gonna looking forward to take more advanced machine learning course in my upcoming next school year. Please remember to subscribe if you like my channel and my story and that there will be more content on the way.